Hey there, friends. Thanks for checking in. Who would carry this pea shooter? Let me explain. A while back, I was at a gun show, and the gun show worker who had many high-end guns, low-end guns, everything else, he pulled this out of his pocket and said, this is what I carry. This is a North American Arms Pug. I said, that's your primary carry? He said, yeah, I, I, I'm good with it. And I thought about that. I'm thinking a five-shot, single-action, 22 Magnum, mini revolver. Nice secondary carry. Very discreet. Easy to conceal. Deep concealment. You know, that's one of those things. Deep concealment. Yeah, this would, this would do deep concealment just fine. But I'm thinking if this guy at the end of the show has to take all of his products in a cart and roll it out to his van or truck or whatever, that is thousands and thousands of dollars of product, and he is going to protect himself and his merchandise, many firearms, with this? I thought, man, that's a bad choice, and you, you, you're in the business of guns. You should know better. But as, as bad a choice as that would be, and, and I understand sometimes this is all you can do, that you're better off with this than being unarmed or with a knife. I, I, I get that point. And I have this. I've owned it for many years. I like it. Okay. This is a little pea shooter. This is also a North American arms. It's in 22 long rifle. This isn't even the shortest one they offer. This has a little over an inch and a half long barrel. It's in 22 long rifle. The issue that I have with this opposed to that is not the round, even though 22 Magnum is much more powerful and higher velocity and foot pounds, you name it. It's just a, a stronger round. It's this right here. The difference is within the grip. Let me explain this. When I grip this, I could just point and shoot, all right? It does have a tritium front dot. Some people will say, you yeah, that's a belly gun. Why are you even talking about aiming? Well, sometimes you have to aim. If you're seven yards away and somebody's ready to attack you, you may have to aim. Yes, you may shoot from the hip, but in most cases, you, you want to just pull up and point. This, I struggle to do with this grip because if I have one finger contact, I have to push my wrist down to access the hump. That's not even a blade. That's a hump. All right. And so this is unloaded, by the way. All right. I'll show clear. Unload. See that? No brass in the cylinder. I pull back. I push my hand down, my wrist down as far as I can. To take that shot it's just not a good sight picture i don't care how you do it you may have to go on that area okay the second level of your finger if you will to even point it in a way it's just you don't get the leverage needed that this will offer to just point and shoot here i, I feel totally fine i'm not going to Dry fire, because it's not dry fire, it's loaded, right? That's the difference. So th this little pea shooter is one of the smallest revolvers in today's market. They actually have a smaller one that's a little over an inch, like 1.1 inches barrel. Okay, it would go here. They make a belt buckle for it. They <clears throat> had it there for years and years and years where you can put it in a belt buckle and carry it around. It looks like a little designer thing, pull it off, it's a gun. It, it, it's no doubt, like I don't have a problem with 22 long rifle. I like 22 Magnum a little better for obvious reasons that I just mentioned. But let me, let me go ahead and try something here. This is the weight, 4.8 ounces. All right, and we'll put five rounds here. 5.1, 5.36. Okay, 5.3, 5 5 we'll say. We can say 5.4. I don't care. All right, so now we got that out of the way. Let's look at the North American Arms Pug. That is loaded, 7.4. So a little over two ounces heavier with the Pug. I would choose this all day long. It's got a stronger round. It's easier to point and shoot. And it's a little bit more expensive because of that heavier build. This thing would conceal just fine. No no doubt. Deep concealment. It's a belly gun. Yeah, it would be a belly gun. You know, you just get in there from the belly and shoot. Just a little bit harder, in my opinion. You look at the hammer. Okay, not that great a difference, but maybe this one's well used but th this thing it, it would do the job i'm not saying it wouldn't do the job if needed 
I certainly wouldn't choose to carry this little pea shooter. I would carry this. I have secondary for the most part. And every now and again, it's my primary. But if I was a gun store or, or at a gun show and I had tens of thousands of dollars of product, I would not protect myself with just that. So I think it's a great secondary carry. A lot of people use these as secondary carry. Let me know. If you carry this little pea shooter and why you're choosing it, I have respect for every type of gun. I really do. I just have a little trouble with this one because it's kind of hard to aim. And if you're at six, seven yards and somebody's going to attack you with a knife, you may have to just pull up and aim and you may miss the first shot. In that case, you'll probably get stabbed and may even lose your life because you carried this little pea shooter. If you like videos like this, please subscribe and share. I always appreciate the thumbs up button. Thanks for watching and you guys be safe. And don't carry a little pea shooter.